Okay, good morning everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I'm reading Proverbs chapter 17, 17 and 18. And I'm reading from the New American Standard Bible Version. Okay, so chapter 17 is titled Contrast the Upright and the Wicked. And I'm going to be highlighting. Let me turn my phone down because... Okay, so it, again, chapter 17 is titled Contrast the Upright and the Wicked. Better is a dry morsel and quietness with it than a house full of feasting with strife. A servant who acts wisely will rule over a son who acts shamefully. I'm going to go back and put my highlights after I read since I'm reading um, this way. Okay. The, refining, the refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests hearts. An evildoer listens to wicked lips. A liar pays attention to a destructive tongue. Yikes. He who mocks the poor reproaches his maker. He who rejoices at calamity will not go unpunished. Grandchildren are the crown of old men, and the glory of sons is their fathers. Excellent speech is not fitting for a fool, much less are lion lips to a prince. A bribe is a charm in the sight of its owner. Whenever, wherever he turns, he prospers. He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates intimate friends. A rebuke goes deeper into one who has understanding than a hundred blows into a fool. A rebellious man seeks only evil, so a cruel messenger will be sent against him. Let a man meet a bear robbed of her cubs, rather than a fool in his folly. He who returns evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. The beginning of strife, strife is like letting out water, so abandon the quarrel before it breaks out. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the righteous, both of them are both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Why is there a price in the land of a fool to buy wisdom? When he has no sense, a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man lacking in sense pledges and becomes surety in the presence of his neighbor. He who loves transgression loves strife. He who raises his door seeks destruction. He who has a crooked mind finds no good. And he who is perverted in his language falls into evil. He who begets a fool does so to his sorrow. And the father of a fool has no joy. A joyful heart is good medicine. But a broken spirit dries up the bones. A wicked man receives a bride from the bosom to pervert the ways of justice. Wisdom is in the presence of the one who has understanding. But the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her who bore him. It is also not good to find the to find the righteous, nor to strike the noble for their uprightness. He who restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is counted prudent. 
Chapter 18, Contrast the Upright and the Wicked again. He who separates himself seeks his own desire. He quarrels against all sound wisdom. A fool does not delight in understanding, but only in revealing his own mind. When a wicked man comes, contempt also comes. Reproach. What? I'm sorry. When a wicked man comes, contempt also comes, and with dishonor comes reproach. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The fountain of wisdom is a bubbling brook. To show partiality to the wicked is not good, nor to thrust aside the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips bring strife, and his mouth calls for blows. A fool's mouth is his ruin, and his lips are a snare of his soul. The words of a whisperer are like dainty morsels, and they go down into the innermost parts of the body. He also who is slack in his work is brother to him who destroys. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. A rich man's wealth is his strong city. And like a high wall in his own imagination. Before destruction the heart of man is haughty. But humility goes before honor. He who gives an answer before he hears, it is folly and shame to him. The spirit of a man can endure his sickness, but a broken spirit who can bear. The mind of the prudent acquires knowledge, and the ear of the wise seek knowledge. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. The first to plead his case seems just, until another comes and examines him. The lot puts an end to contentions and decides between the mighty. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city, and contentions are like the bars of a castle. With the fruit of a man's mouth, his stomach will be satisfied. He will be satisfied with the product of his lips. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. The poor man utters supplications. But the rich man answers roughly. A man of many friends comes to ruin. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And that's Proverbs chapter 17 and 18. Thanks for watching and listening. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.